today I will be discussing five gates. One quadrangular gate, three pentangular gates, and our very first hexangular gate. It's one of only two perfect hexangles in the tree of the raw tree of life. So all of these gates are all about integrating that dynamic of Lamed and Nun, of Libra and Scorpio, of balancing versus self-determination, okay? Integrating that with the supernal realm. Now, the first gate is a pentangular gate, uh, gate number 50. And it integrates that dynamic, uh, specifically Gedula, uh, Gebura, and Netzach, with uh, Hokma and Bina. Okay, so it starts in Gebura and goes down to Yesod via the path of Scorpio, up the path of Lamed to Gedula, up the path of Gimel to Chokma, across the path of Shen to Bina, and down the path of Daleth to Gebura, and then of course back around. Now this integrates, as I said, that dynamic, that lower dynamic, uh, astral dynamic, with Gedula, I mean, excuse me, with Chokma and Bina, okay? And Shin. Shin is very important in this uh, gate. Okay, the next gate is also a pentangle, and it starts again in Gibura, goes down that path of Scorpio into Yesod, up the path of Lamed into Gedula, up the path of Gimel to Chokma, up the path of he to <clears throat> Kether, down quickly from Kether along the hidden path into Gebura, okay? and then back around. Okay. Now the most important part, of most transformative part of this gate is that descent from Kether right into Gebura. That that puts a whole new perspective on everything, okay? And begins the integration into uh, Kether, okay? Now, <clears throat> gate number 52. This is a very special gate. This is our first hexangle, and it's like I said, the first of two perfect hexangles in the Grod Tree of Life. Yeah, this, uh, pay special attention to working this gate. It's a, a sort of a precursor to a very special sort of gate that we'll be working at the end of uh, the Esod sequence, okay? Uh, I'll save that for later. So this gate is about balance. It's about as above, so below. It's about uh, integration, perfect integration, okay? The astral with the supernal. So all of this is the, the air, fire and air regions of the mental body plus the beginning of the water region of the mental body all uniting with the supernal realm. So this is a monumental integration. And it goes from Gebura down the path of Scorpio to Yesod, up the path of, of Libra into Gedula, up the path of Jupiter to Hokma, up the path of Aries to Kether, down the path of Vav, to Bina, down the path of Mars, 
back into Gebura and then back around, okay? So, again, I urge special attention to this game. Now, this really illustrates the nature of working gates that I haven't talked about heretofore. <laughs> Because we needed to really wait till we get got to this point to really understand what's going on. So, <clears throat> the person you are when you start out in Gebura in this gate and go down that path of Scorpio into Yesa, that path of self-determination who you are determines the experience you're going to have along the path and the experience you're going to have once you arrive in Yeso. and again who you are having gone through this experience in Yesod determines the experience you're going to have along that path of Libra up into Gedula and likewise, that transformed person determines the experience all the way around till you come back to Gebura. And then going in reverse reaffirms and puts into new perspective all the changes you've been through as you made it around. So when you come back to Gebura, this person now is different than the person that first started set foot on this journey. Each time you work a gate forward and backward, because both are necessary to complete this learning process, you are transformed. So working gates, I recommend doing them at least three times for your first experience of the gates. To each gate at least three times. As the first one sort of introduces you to the changes that are coming, okay? To the changes that are going to be taking place as you work this gate. The second time you sort of know where you're going, sort of what to expect, so you can take your time a little longer and really begin to experience these shifts in awareness to these different states of awareness. Okay, so this exponentially increases the power, the changing transformative power that the working a gate has on you. And the third time, this is when the real transformation begins to occur. Because now you're into the experience of the gate and you're paying close attention to what is actually happening and you're really feeling and understanding these shifts in awareness. Okay, and back around. So by the third time you've done this experience, that person is markedly different than the person that started out on that journey. And this gate really illustrates that to you because it is so balanced. It's such an easy flowing gate to perform. Okay. So the fourth gate is a little simpler and it is a quadrangular gate and it simply integrates the the uh, 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 Lamed Netzach, I mean, the Lamed Nun uh, dynamic into Kether directly. 
And again, you've got this really steep and immediate um, journey to and from Kether, which is very powerful, okay? It sort of <clears throat> sets things in stone, as it were. Gives you a good grounding, okay? And the fifth gate is another uh, pentangular gate. And it is sort of the opposite of gate 51, the second gate, the pentangle there. Um, so in this case, we're going from um, <clears throat> Gebura to Yesod to Gejula directly up to Kether, okay? And then down along... Um, Vav um, and uh, Daleth back to Gibura and then back around. So here the dynamic, the dramatic um, part of this gate is that quick descent, rise and descent uh, from Kether and get down to Gejula. Okay? So <clears throat> That's the five gates, uh, and it, it ends pretty much our integration of that dynamic between Lamed, <coughs> between Lamed <laughs> and uh, uh, none. Okay. So, till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>